Well, many of us have felt misled buying a ticket to an event or booking a place to stay for a vacation. The advertised price is one thing, but then the actual price when you check out is another. I take a closer look on the efforts to eliminate some of these junk fees here in California and across the country. The joy of live music, something CJ and I have in common. The older we get, the less. <laughs> oh, I feel that. I feel that. I just want to catch as many shows as exactly. I can. Exactly. Something else we have in common, paying those extra fees that come along with those tickets. But his recent purchase to the Justin Timberlake concert here in San Diego surprised even him. Like, this is insane. CJ, who only wanted to use his first name for privacy reasons, first logged on to Ticketmaster, which led him to StubHub. He admits he was on a meeting at the time and paid quickly with his credit card. You bought how many tickets? Two. Two tickets. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at your receipt here. Price per ticket, $489. Yep. The fee was an extra $348. Yeah. He thought it was a mistake. I assumed that they had like um, charged me for three tickets. When he realized they hadn't. First thought was like, how have they been getting away with this? Fees, according to this, came out to more than 26% of his ticket price. He said he called StubHub for a breakdown of those costs, but a representative wouldn't give it to him. When you're a corporation that's monopolizing things that we, the public, would enjoy and then putting an extra tax on top of it without any actual value add, like, why are you charging me this money? The state and federal government wanted the answer too. What are junk fees? Junk fees are unnecessary, unavoidable, or surprise charges that inflate prices while adding little to no value. The Council of Economic Advisors shows billions spent by consumers on these fees. Everything from those high credit card late fees to event ticket fees. I was there last year in Balboa Park when State Attorney General Rob Bonta announced the effort to fight the fees in our state. It's misleading. It doesn't allow consumers to do price comparisons to make the decision that's best for them. And it's wrong. The bill was signed into law and goes into effect in July. It's designed to prohibit drip pricing, advertising a price that is less than the actual price you pay. Companies charge what they think the market will bear in the sticker price of a product or service, but then they add junk fees to squeeze just a little more profit from Americans. Brian Shearer with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says by one count, junk fees make up more than $90 billion in costs for Americans every year. There's an effort in the federal government to stop these extra charges too. These fees really add up. A service charge here, an overdraft fee there. The CFPB is committed to rooting out junk fees wherever we find them. I tried to get answers from StubHub, a clarification of what their fees were. A spokesperson said they were working on an answer and then never got back to me. Okay. CJ is still going to the concert. He says he's fortunate he can afford it, but knows not everyone can. You're gouging them like blindly, like it's just not right. Well, the FTC is in the process of writing a comprehensive junk fee rule that would apply to the entire economy. So we'll keep you updated on how that goes. Consumer issues, that's just one area I cover. I also cover the AAPI community as well as San Diego Unified and Sweetwater Union High School District. If you have a story that you want me to look into, you can email me right there, melissa.masiha10news.com, or you can also scan that QR code on your screen.